Hi there, so this is the first tutorial of Grasshopper Basics and today we're going to see how Grasshopper works and the interface. So first of all, when you launch Grasshopper, you can see the menu on top, then the tabs. And these tabs actually are just plugins inside Grasshopper. Most of them are already built in, but you can download other plugins based on what you have to do. Uh, and you can find most of the plugins on a website called Food for Rhino, and I can leave the link in the description. Then we have the components, and these are the main tools that you're going to use in your Grasshopper script. So how do we use a component? We basically click on a component and click on the canvas, or we just double click on the canvas and write the name of the component. I actually prefer the second one because it's easier and faster. So to better understand how a component work, let's use for example, for example, the circle component. And as you can see, as I clicked on the circle, I can see the geometry displayed inside Rhino, but this geometry cannot be selected inside Rhino because it's only displayed and can be modified only in Grasshopper. So for example, if I want to change the radius because I have inputs and outputs, if I want to change the radius of this circle, I can provide a number slider and I can connect to change the dimension of the circle. And as you can see, I can change in real time the geometry inside Grasshopper. So if I want, for example, this geometry to be put inside Rhino because I'm satisfied with this geometry, I can right click on the output that is the circle bake and then press OK. So as you can see right now, if I click here, I have my circle inside Rhino, but this geometry right now cannot be modified anymore inside Grasshopper. Only this circle that it's highlighted in green can be uh, modified. We can also import geometry from Rhino to Grasshopper using the containers. And this geometry actually have a lot of containers. For example, if I want to import points from Rhino, I can put, for example, two points inside Rhino, use this container, right click and set multiple points. Click on the first one, second one, enter. And right now I have two reference points inside Grasshopper. You might know that if I delete one point, I have an error right now because one value right now is null because I provided information before and right now it doesn't exist anymore. So I really suggest either to select the points again or you can actually right click and set, uh, actually internalize data. So if you internalize the information that you have from Rhino, you can select the points, delete them and you still have the information inside your container. So inside Grasshopper, you have these components that can be changed uh, in the way that they are displayed. So you can go in display mode here. You can draw icons, draw full names and draw fancy lines. If you, for example, toggle draw icons and draw full names, you just have the component with the name of the component like circle and the uh, initial of the inputs and outputs. And uh, I really suggest uh, especially at the beginning to draw the icons and draw the full names to understand more the inputs that it needs. By default, if I detach this uh, input, I have a radius of one and the plane is actually the origin of the XY plane. So uh, how do we connect the, the inputs and the outputs? This number slider for the radius, I can plug it in with these wires. And if I want to disconnect it, I can right click on the radius, go to disconnect. And as you can see, I can disconnect this one. But if I want, for example, to disconnect in another way, we can hold control. And as you can see, if I go there, I have this red arrow and I just draw the line again and I detach it. If I want to provide more information in the same input, I can, for example, duplicate this number slider. So to duplicate, you either press Control C, Control V, or you can hold the, the number slider, hold Alt, and then move around. So you can see you can generate different uh, number slider. 
just uh, pay attention because you have to press on the component before and then press alt because either way if you press alt and then you press on the component as you can see you're just um, making the canvas like larger or making the space between the components uh, like you can increase the space between the components so if I want to provide more uh, data slider inside this radius I can insert this uh, number slider here and then to insert this one I can connect it but as you can see if I connect one the other one get disconnected so to provide both of the sliders I can hold shift and now a green arrow appears I can draw the line and now I have two circle so the first circle is the larger one and the the, the other circle is the smaller one so right now my output has two circle because I'm providing two uh, sliders inside my radius and the origin it's actually the same so this is basically it for the interface and uh, the basics of grasshopper I really hope you enjoy the video if you have any doubt just comment below uh, subscribe to the channel and we'll see in the next tutorial